Hello class! Today we are talking about fruit and the verb like. Fruit. What is fruit? What fruit do you like? So for example, I have a banana. A banana. A banana. I have bananas. Three bananas. I like bananas. I have an orange. I have oranges. Two oranges. I like oranges. Do you like oranges? I have an apple. I have apples. I have two apples. Do you like apples? So this is fruit. Fruit. A banana. I have a banana. I have a banana. A banana. So, a uh, means one. One banana. I have a banana. And that's singular. That means one. I have a banana. A banana. I have an apple. An apple. I have an apple. An apple. That's one apple. I have an apple. I have an orange. 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 An orange. So the pronunciation is a little tricky. So that's with O, O, and then R, 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 RUNGE. And this GE together sounds like J, J. Sounds like the letter J. Orange, orange, orange. There's two syllables. Orange, orange. I have an orange. An orange. I don't have a cherry. A cherry. A cherry. Cherry is with CH. CH sounds like ch. Cherry, cherry, a cherry, a strawberry, a strawberry. So that's with S, s, s straw, S T R A W. A W sounds like aw, straw, straw, and then B b b, berry, straw, berry, a strawberry. So that's a banana. An apple, an orange, a cherry, a strawberry. So this is a, 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 an, an, 
Why? Why an? It's because the first letter is A and the first letter is O. When the first letter is O, I use an. When the first letter is A, I use an. So for this one, an apple, an orange, that means one apple, one orange. So when I talk about one thing, it is singular. One. One banana. A banana. I have three bananas. Bananas. So when I talk about two, three, or four things, plural. Bananas. There's a S. Bananas. Apples. Apples. Oranges. Oranges. So the pronunciation is a little tricky. Oranges sounds like this. O Ren R A N O Ren and we say these together. Jez Jez Oranges. So now it has three syllables. O ren jez. Oranges. Try it. Repeat. Oranges. Oranges. You try. Oranges. 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 We say it fast. Oranges. 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 Cherries. Cherries. So look. A cherry. C H E R R Y. This Y changes. Cherries, C H E R R I E S. Cherries. So the spelling changes for plural. Cherries. Same here. A strawberry with a Y. Strawberries. I E S strawberries bananas apples oranges cherries strawberries I like Bananas. Do you like bananas? My daughter likes apples. Do you like apples? Does your daughter like apples? I like oranges. Do you like oranges? Do your children like oranges? So when I use the verb like, I use plural words when I talk about fruit that I like. I like bananas. I like cherries. I like strawberries. Do you like apples? Do you like oranges? So we're going to practice. Let's review the verb like. I like oranges. I. I like oranges. 
So we're going to practice this word because many people have trouble pronouncing this word. Oranges. Oranges. I like oranges. You like oranges. You like oranges. He likes oranges. He likes oranges. Notice there's an S. She likes oranges. She likes oranges. They like oranges. They like oranges. We like oranges. We like oranges. So this is affirmative. Affirmative means yes. I like oranges. Yes, I like oranges. So notice when I talk about one man or one boy, he likes. I say the verb with an S. If I talk about one woman or girl, she likes. I say the verb with an S. So maybe I would like to talk about my family. He. My son. My son likes oranges. My husband likes oranges. My brother likes oranges. Or she. My daughter likes oranges. My sister likes oranges. My mother likes oranges. So this is affirmative. Let's review the verb like. Negative. So I can say I like strawberries or I like strawberries. I like strawberries. How do I make this negative? I don't like strawberries. So that's D O N apostrophe T. I don't like strawberries. I don't like strawberries. I don't like strawberries. You You don't like strawberries. So that's the same. You don't like strawberries. He, he don't like strawberries, right? Don't. D O N apostrophe T. No, it changes. He doesn't, doesn't like strawberries. So that's D-O-E-S-N apostrophe T. So remember for he and she, it changes. He doesn't like strawberries. She doesn't like strawberries. Doesn't. They don't like strawberries. We don't like strawberries. So that's negative. I don't like strawberries. You don't like strawberries. He doesn't like strawberries. She doesn't like strawberries. 
They don't like strawberries. We don't like strawberries. So I can talk about my family again. My husband doesn't like strawberries. My daughter doesn't like strawberries. So that's negative. There are three forms of sentences. Affirmative, negative, and question. So if I want to ask a question with the verb like, how do I say the question? So for example, you. How do I ask this question? Hmm? Do you like cherries? Do you like cherries? So do goes here. Remember it's capital D. The first letter of a sentence is always capital. And then O. Do you like cherries? So I use the same word. Like L I K E. Do you like cherries? I. What goes here? Do I like cherries? What do you think? Same. D, capital D. O. Do I like cherries? He. What goes here? Do? Do he like cherries? No. Does. Does he like cherries? Does he like cherries? So that's D. Capital D. O. E. S. Does he like cherries? So remember, for he, it changes. So for a question, now there's an S here. Does he like cherries? Does he like cherries? What about this one? Does. Does she like cherries? D O E S. Does she like cherries? Does she like cherries? They. So maybe I am asking about two people or three people. Do they like cherries? Do. D O. Do they like cherries? Do they like cherries? We. Oui. Do we like cherries? It's D O. Do we like cherries? Do we like cherries? So this is a question. If I want to ask a question, I use this form. Do I like cherries? Do you like cherries? 
Does he like cherries? Does she like cherries? Do they like cherries? Do we like cherries? So maybe I want to ask about your family. For example, he. Does your son like cherries? So I can replace he with a person. I can say a name or I can ask about your family. Does your son like cherries? Does your son like cherries? I'm going to move this so there is more space. Like. Does your son like cherries? She. I can replace this if I want to ask about your family. Does your daughter like cherries? Your daughter. Does your daughter like cherries? They. If I ask about two or three or four people, for example, do your children like cherries? So that's maybe two or three people. Your children. So I can replace this. Do your children? Children. C-H-I-L-D-R-E-N. Your children. Do your children like cherries? So I can ask people about their family. Repeat. Does your son like cherries? You try. Does your son like cherries? Does your daughter like cherries? You repeat. Does your daughter like cherries? Do your children like cherries? Repeat. Do your children like cherries? I'm shopping. I'm at Kroger and I'm shopping and I need fruit. So here are bananas. Yes, I want bananas. I see. Ah, oh, apples. I need apples. I need oranges. I need mangoes. Oh yes, I need cherries. I need strawberries. <sighs> okay, I have a lot of fruit in my shopping cart. Mm hmm. Ooh, I see my friend. Hi! How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Oh, you have a lot of fruit. Do you like fruit? Yes, I do. What about you? Yes, I like fruit. What about your family? Does your son like fruit? Mm, yes, he does. He likes oranges. He doesn't like bananas. Oh, me neither. I don't like bananas. Oh, okay. So here is a question in the conversation. Do you like fruit? Yes, I do. Or, 
No, I don't. Maybe I want to ask about your family. So for example, your son. Your son. Do your son like fruit? Right? No, it changes. So if I ask about your son, I say does. Because that's he. Does your son like fruit? Yes. He. Oh, not that color. Yes, he. H E. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Or, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. So it changes. Does your son like fruit? Yes, he does. Or, no, he doesn't. Or maybe I change it and ask about your daughter. Does your daughter like fruit? Yes, she does. Or, no, she doesn't. So this changes. Does your daughter like fruit? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Here is the example from the conversation. Does your son like fruit? Yes, he does. He likes oranges. He doesn't like bananas. So here is a question. Here is affirmative and here is negative. We're going to practice all of them next class. So repeat. Does your son like fruit? Repeat. Does your son like fruit? Yes, he does. He likes oranges. He doesn't like bananas. Repeat. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He likes oranges. He likes oranges. He doesn't like bananas. He doesn't like bananas. So we will practice this in the next class and practice talking about fruit and family and likes doesn't. See you then. Bye.